They have the journalists, but for the moment, no channel. Free Libya TV is one of the first to stream on the internet the momentous events of the February uprising in Benghazi. They're now waiting for the day when they can get a satellite frequency to broadcast over the airwaves. Uh, we need some uh, uh, cooperation from the people in Egypt to can help us and to get uh, at least one frequency on Nilesa to can broadcast our channel. Uh, even if uh, Gaddafi, uh, Gaddafi's channel is still broadcasting, we, we, it doesn't matter. We will just show the reality. The east of Libya knows that having their own channel is vital in combating the propaganda broadcast on state television by Muammar Gaddafi and his regime. Since the start of the February revolution in Benghazi, newspapers, banners and graffiti have sprung up all over town, revelling in a newfound freedom of expression. The Livu Times is a new fortnightly newspaper produced by students whose university courses have been brought to a halt by the conflict. For 40 years, people have not had a chance to think freely. They haven't had a chance to do anything that they wanted. We were afraid to say anything about the government. So now we do have the freedom. And it's, it's an amazing feeling, and this is what they're feeling. So this is the way that they can make a difference. Benghazi is now buzzing with words and sounds that even a few months ago would have been banned or even led to arrest. Uh, with almost nothing off limits, the east of Libya is busy building its media landscape from scratch but is soon hoping to be able to fully enter the fray in Libya's war of words.